Hey, Soul Family. Welcome to Solo Teachings of Papa Carey, where we will be sharing a divinely guided message. I hope you all are doing well today. I hope this message finds you in the highest vibration of love, peace, and prosperity. Okay. So today we're going to call in um, our guides. Well, I've already called in our guides. Protection and as well as this is a message from our higher self. So we're going to do an inner voice, higher self message. And the reason why we're doing inner voice, inner voice and higher self um, is because our whole goal is to make sure that our higher self is in line with our inner truth, okay? That that um, discernment, that true wisdom, that life within. We're, um, our goal is to make sure that we're connected above and within, above and below, okay? Are any Odu and are any uh, are any Onu or any Odu? I'm sorry, I might have said that a little wrong. But yeah, um, yeah, so our higher self and our inner self. Our inner voice and our higher self. Okay. Let's see what we have today. I said, there we go. I just heard it right, y'all. I'm sorry. It's the, or, our Ori Inu and our Ori. Um, Odu. Odu is above, Inu is within. Uh, Ori. That's our higher self. Alright, that's our overhead over soul. Uh, Ori. So we want our Ori Odu to be connected and in alignment with our Ori Inu. So what is the message? What is our higher self and our inner wisdom want to share with us today? What is the message for us today? What is our higher self want to share with us? Our higher self wants to share with us that it is harvest time okay it's time for us to gather all the blessings that is here for us um we got number 44 on the card look at how beautiful this is you see the sun behind her letting you know that she has come into her full bloom she is radiant she is ready to pull back the layers of what she's accomplished She's ready to pull back some layers to see her divine true self and stand in her true power because she knows that she has put in all the hard work to deserve to receive such a blessing. Okay, this is giving me Virgo energy. Okay, so shout out to all the Virgos out there. But yeah, it's harvest time. It's time to reap what you have sown. It's time for you to gather all that is yours. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Which is wonderful because there's nothing like going through a rough patch in life and then seeing the outcome. Like, you know what? I had to go through that to get to this. You know? Next card we have out is courage. Look at that absolutely beautiful courage strength fierceness family this is also representing that it's time for you to go ahead and prepare yourself to be courageous in moving forward and all that comes um, along your path you know you know you're standing for the truth of who you represent you're standing for your bloodline you're standing for your family you know you're moving through this life looking things straight straight into the, to the to the eyes straight into the face look at her eyes she's filled with courage she's filled with just fierce focus she knows what she's after she knows where she's going she sees her 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 any obstacle and she's ready to jump over him she knows she is a leader she's leading the pack very courageous leader Okay, so that's letting you know that you have this within you. You are this. You are um, a creative leader. You know, you are fierce. You protect your family. 
Are you ready to show your family who and what you guys stand for? Okay. We've got bright heart, light. That means it's been a lot of heart chakra activation going on. Your heart is now opened to a, new, a whole new level of compassion, a whole new level of fulfillment. Look how she's holding her heart. She feels blessed just to be. I'm a blessed being. Okay? That's letting you know you are blessed in this season. You're feeling the blessings in this season. If you haven't started feeling them yet, just prepare yourself because it's harvest time. You're about to start feeling it. Okay? You're going to be walking that walk. Feeling that feel and gathering what you need together. Okay, representing, showing it off. <laughs> okay. We've got hidden knowledge, Akashic record, solid understanding. That's lovely. Big boss. I call you big boss. Now, this is the moon behind this card. I'm forgetting moon because it's hidden. So that only comes out at night. So this is letting me know that your intuition, your discernment is on point. Okay? They can tell you anything they want to tell you, but they can't get past the wisdom that you've been told. You are very tapped into who you are. You're very connected to your higher power. You're very connected to your Ori Odu. And you're already inu, okay? You have hidden knowledge. You hold knowledge that nobody can see unless they stare deep into your eyes. Then I know you're a force to be reckoned with. Tell them, come here, take a quick look. Come over here, take a quick look. <laughs> you're going to stare straight in the, in the face of truth right here, okay? That's absolutely powerful. It's a powerful message coming out. Okay, let's see. We've got sacred breath and sound, life force communication. Do you know what time that is? That means it's time for you to connect. So you need to meditate. You need to use your breath work. Do your fire breaths. Do some meditation so you can connect to your higher self. Because this information is coming from your higher self, from your higher guidance that needs to be channeled in through that higher that higher source, it needs to be channeled in from the higher realms into your physical body. In order for you to get that information into your physical body, you need to take time and use sound and breath. Okay. Use the t use the power of your breath. To silence your mind so you can hear those, that divine information. Just information waiting to be shared with you. Your higher self is like, uh uh, come on, lower self, let's go. I got something to tell you. I got something to kick to you real quick. You know, I got some hidden knowledge I need to share with you. So, in only for you know, in, all, in order for me to share this hidden knowledge with you, you got to be quiet, quiet your mind, quiet your lips, and listen in for what's going on within your heart. You know, I'll show you how to lead the way. Okay, look at there. Can you make it up? Guide the illuminated path. I just said, I'll show you how to lead the way. And you see her hand? Her hand is leading the way. Her hand is raining down divine light. She's giving Reiki energy. She's healing the path. She's in the forest, you see. So the, she's, she's charting a whole new path. She's being guided and her path is already lit. She's not even looking at where she's walking because she knows she's being guided in the right direction. She knows the way. You know the way. That means you know the way. Even without you, you don't have to think about the way too much. It's in you. It's in you to walk down a divine path. You don't have to overthink anything. You're going to move down this path as a, as a lone wolf if you have to. You know? And remember we said before that you might feel like you're alone, but you're not alone because you have divine guides that's with you at all times. Look at that number three. 
that adds up to a three. You got divine guidance. You are a divine creator. You out here ready to co-create, and you're co-creating this path in this damn jungle, okay? You see that wolf right there? Right by our side. She ain't alone, and she's focused. She's going straight to the to the damn goal, okay? Go ahead. Your higher self won't let you know to believe in yourself. You already have the 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 the, the excuse me. The, you already have the map within you. I was hearing charted destiny. Charted destination. It was it was coming a little too fast for me to say, but um, yeah. You walk on a charted path. Your soul has the map. Okay. Okay, and then we got power over difficulty. Reclaim your power. Look at that. Look how beautiful this is. You have the light within you. All you have to do is continue to walk down the path that's unseen, uncharted, that's not mapped out by everybody or anybody else because you're the one, you're the first one to, to do what you're doing or you're going to be the first one doing what you're doing. And you have the power within you to knock down difficulties, to move through obstacles, the power to over, the power over difficulties, reclaiming your power. So that means you went through you went through a season of not realizing how powerful you are, but that was all for a divine reason. Okay, look at how she's looking at the obstacles. She got snakes over here. She got snakes in her grass that she had to mow. We're hearing Kevin Gates too many snakes in my grass. Yeah, yeah, I had to mow it. Bleed it my soul today, you know. I had to mow it. Look at she go ahead. She's 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 got her hands out. She's manipulating the energy. She knows that whatever was was what whatever was in these in these animals' minds that was coming towards her, that could have been seen as an obstacle, a difficulty, a challenge, something that was dangerous. She stepped into her power. Now she's she's telling them how to back back. She's telling them how to move. She's telling them to work for her. Okay. I'm here for what for 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 what thought conquered you. Now you have conquered. For what was that? for what I'm here is it's, it's kind of fast, but basically, yeah, it's is for what tried to conquer you. Now you have conquered. Yeah, look at her and her power. She got them. She got. She got all them animals in in, in order. She telling them when to sit, stay, come, come hither. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. Five hundred percent number of change. She changes the circumstances because she realized, okay, this might be difficult to some, but not to me. I stand in true power. The power's within me. Now it's time for me to bring it out. It's in my body. It's in my bones. Let me go ahead and just rule it out. Rule it. I feel it. Now it's time for them to see it. That's absolutely beautiful, y'all. Okay. And then let's see. Let's get two more for this. What is our heart her self and our inner voice have to share? So what's the message? All right, so we're going to just take these two right here at the top. It says achievement. Achievements, effort plus intention. 
that means the more consistent you you stay, the more discipline you put into what you're doing, the more that your attentions will manifest. Okay. You have great manifestation abilities because what whatever you work towards, you bring into existence because your intentions are pure. Your intentions mean well. Look, she's wearing all white. She has pure intentions. She's by that strong buffalo. I mean, she's going to get these obstacles accomplished. She's moving over difficulties because she has the power within herself to bring forth and bring into this world what she what she always wanted. And she's protected. Look how protected she looks. She's you are protected. Okay. Last one but not least. Deep emotions. Unknown feelings, past life influences. Nice. Look how beautiful she is. So this is letting you know, your higher self wants your inner self to know that the, your emotions hold great power. The, the, there's times where you're not unsure. There's times where you're unsure on how you feel because you've been through so much. So you're looking at life like, okay, how do I, how do I? deal with some of this stuff because I'm torn in my feelings. I have these past life uh, experiences that make me want to move one way, but then I have my power within myself, the courage that's within myself, the the tenacity to move forward and move through anything. Should I go ahead and just let bygones be bygones? Or should I take heed of my past experiences? So. Yeah, you, you're going through a lot of emotional release, a lot of emotional growth. Your heart is healing. So with the heart healing, those emotions will come up so you can release them. Okay? Just know that it's harvest time for you. So you're going to be releasing a lot of unnecessary emotional, I don't even want to say baggage, but if that's what it is, that's what it is. You're going to be releasing so you can pick it up. You got to make room for your corn, honey. Okay, you make a room for your harvest, so you're gonna release a lot of unknown feelings. You might just be crying one morning in the shower or whatever it might be. Just know that's okay, cause you gotta make room for the joy that's coming in. You got you're gathering blessings. Okay, that's beautiful. I hope this message finds you in the highest vibration of love and light. One more recap. Just keep in mind that it's harvest season for you. Your higher self wants your inner self to know that it's harvest season for you. You have the courage and strength to go ahead and move forward. You are a true leader. You carry a lot of compassion, a lot of love within your heart. And as you move through these seasons of life, your heart is only going to become more full. And as your heart becomes more full, you have the power to unlock other people's vibrational heart frequencies. Okay? Because your heart is magic. Okay? You feel deep. Your heart is connected to the most high. Your heart is connected to your angels. Your heart is connected to your righteous ancestors. Your heart is connected to your guides. Your heart is connected to your higher self. Okay? So you are an open channel, an open connection to the truth. Okay? And as you continue to learn about that open heart chakra that you have, you're going to continue to unlock hidden knowledge and hidden wisdom. You are able to tap into the Akashic Records, honey. I mean, that's information for lifetimes you're able to access. You know, and you, as you access this information, not everybody knows how powerful you are within your knowledge because it's a hidden knowledge. This knowledge is, 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 is only poured out when you share it. You're fierce. You have a lot of power within you, and people can see it. They can see your vibration. They can feel you. When you walk past, they can they can feel it. Look how she's looking. If she was walking past you right now, you'd be like, ooh. Her is powerful. <laughs> you have a lot of power within you. So don't forget about your wisdom. Don't be shy about sharing it. And sometimes don't even share it because this part is part of who you are. 
okay, you high priestess you, or you high priest you, whether you male or female, okay? And don't forget to take the time that you need to connect to your higher self, connect to your breasts by doing so. Use the life force energy that the creator has created within you, around you, to connect to deeper aspects of yourself, to deeper communication of how you communicate with the breath, okay? So as you take those that time to deep breathe in and out, you're able to go ahead and connect to your inner wisdom. Keep in mind your path is already charted. It's just you about to walk down at this lifetime for the first time, okay? The light is within you. The light is within you. You might be a Reiki healer too. You might be a healer. I'm getting a Reiki healer. I'm getting a shaman. Okay. It, 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 the path is already within you. So continue to walk it even if you feel like you're walking it by yourself. But know that you, you, if you are walking it by yourself, you always got somebody. This could be an ancestor that's already done this to hit there to support you. You don't you don't see them, but you will feel them. Okay. Keep on keep in mind you a motherfucking beast. You 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 walk over challenges like it's nothing. It's light work for you. Okay. Challenges is light work for you because you're doing that light work. Okay. Doing that light work. <laughs> So go ahead and continue to reclaim your power, move through this world fiercely because you have a lot of strength within you. Remain co uh, courageous and remain pushing, pushing yourself to don't be afraid of nothing. Don't even be afraid of your own power. Okay. And you, you are achieving all that you go after, even if it takes time. Sometimes you it, it takes a while to move things and for things to come into alignment, but the effort that you put in is already lining up for you. The universe is already working out. You're putting things into perspective and order for you. Just continue your efforts and continue to state your intentions. Okay, continue to state your affirmations. Continue. Okay, and you're going to be feeling so filled with emotions. Your emotions are going to continue to feel deep. You're going to find new levels of depth. You're going to have emotion that you don't even know that you even carry. And there's power in those emotions because you are a powerful, powerful, powerful spirit. Okay, so yeah, your deep emotions is the reason why you have so much courage too because you have a heart of a lion. That's all heart right there. Heart on heart, on heart. Come on, you're a beautiful person. And I hope that this message finds you in the highest vibration of love and light and the best of health. May you continue to seek what you prosper and continue to pour into others. But first, pour into thyself. Ashe, ashe, ashe.